Hey everybody, Mark Vogt with Voltland Outdoors. I was shooting the other day this OMP ILF riser, October Mountain products, with these DAS 45 pound longbow limbs that I pull out to 55 pounds. And one other subscriber, Josep in Spain. Josep, como estas usted? Saw these on my, my bowstring and wanted to know what they were. Well, it turns out that they're knocking points. Knocking points that I can move up and down and when I'm pulling, they stay put. So today's short video is gonna show you how to actually make those particular knocking points. Let's go inside. Okay guys, the secret to building uh, an adjustable set of knocking points, you gotta buy a little package of these speed buttons. You're gonna get them from any compound bow shop. They look like this. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Can you see those? Looks like that. And they use the speed buttons right there. They use the speed buttons to actually tune different parts of the bowstring. We're going to take advantage of these to make an adjustable knocking point. Okay, look at, let's look at the pieces. Um, I just grabbed an old orange bowstring because it would be easy to see. Uh, left over from one of my daughter's bows and it doesn't have a a knocking point on it yet so it actually is a good candidate it's a two-part step here guys because what we're going to do is actually use your ordinary little darning needle and a piece of serving string the serving string is going to go through the loop right here like this and the whole idea is that we have to somehow get our three little knocking points on here those little speed buttons need to get on this string. And the only way they're gonna get on that string is if you actually thread it onto the needle first. You're going to thread this needle. And then now, we use the needle to put the speed buttons on the thread, and then the thread is already looped into this loop, so then we've got a path for pulling it on. And you wanna take your time doing this, guys because you don't want to do anything that messes up. You don't want to mess up that hole. You want it nice and small and tight. The tighter it is, the longer it's actually going to last. So we're going to push one on. We're going to push two on. I've never tried using four, but I suppose you could. What I did try was using one, and it moved too much. I tried using two, and it improved a little bit, but it wasn't good enough. It still moved, and three was the magic number that the third button on here tended to act like an anchor, keeping everything anchored and allowing a little bit of movement. So now we're gonna pull these all onto the string. Like this. And then we're gonna start moving them down the string to the loop. And this is where we're gonna start actually pushing them onto the loop. And once, we're gonna do that one at a time. Just let it roll over if you need to, like that. See how easy that was? We're going to do the next one. And we're going to do the next one. And then we're going to start pulling these down slowly. We don't want to, to have the wraps, the serving wraps, act like some kind of a rasp and rasp away the inside of the, the inside hole and make it bigger than it really is. So now we're going to just sit here and pull. And you'll see that when I'm pulling on all three, it actually is hard. So when you pull one at a time that it goes easy. One at a time that it goes easy. One at a time that it goes easy. And if it rolls, that's fine. But the minute you start putting all three of them together and pulling, it's hard, so don't. The whole idea, we can go and take this off now. The needle goes off, the little piece of loop goes off. And if I want, I'm gonna take all of this, put it back here into a little kit. Arr. This becomes my kit. It goes right back inside the pocket of my quiver. In fact, I've got an extra little zipper along here that I can go inside there. On this side. This little quiver ends up being like my 
survival kit for archery. So let's set that off to the side and we're going to start working these buttons down one at a time. Just down, rolling slowly. Don't want to damage them. Don't want to misshape them. Here's the top of the servings now coming up. So once I get it on there, I'm going to pull very slowly. I don't want the servings to act like a rasp and file material away. So there's one. Now we're going to do the other two. I'm going to pull slowly. It's got beeswax on it. It's actually helping right now. And when I get up to the beginning of the serving, I'm going to slowly push. And it's a little bit easier when there's two of them. It's very hard when there's three. There you have it. Now this whole loop will go on the bow, top and bottom, and then I would actually adjust this by pulling. What happens, guys, is this. If you look up really close here, when the arrow pushes up against, let's grab one. When the arrow pushes up against the first one, it compresses the second one and the second one wants to start moving but the third one actually acts like a really good anchor you see that little sponge it actually resists the motion and pushes it back down and it happens over and over and over again so if you don't push excessively hard then you'll see that it actually just comes back down every single time how cool is that this was meant to be a really short video hope you guys enjoyed that how to make a uh, a simple adjustable knocking point from three speed buttons that you put on a compound bowl. Total cost? Oh, jeepers. I think I bought a bag of 50 of these knobs for five bucks. That means 50 divided by five dollars or a penny a piece. So this cost me three cents. It's going to last, they typically last about a year. I do this once a season. Beginning of the season, I'll put a new knocking point on. Considering I shoot hundreds of arrows every single week, that's actually pretty long lived and totally adjustable all anytime you need it to be. Hope you guys enjoyed that. This is Mark Vogt with Voland Outdoors. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Watch some of the other videos I have on what you can do with that adjustable knocking point. How quickly you can go and find the sweet spot on your bow without twisting and damaging your servings by twisting other kinds of wraps, other kinds of knocking points up and down. Watch this video and we'll see you out there. Bye.